Hey folks, Ashley at allthingsdentistry.com. I uh, just want to go over how we use an ivory loop in uh, fixating a fractured mandible, this little friend here. And what I'm going to do is on my plastic skull that weighs like a ton, is we're going to fixate uh, on the left side. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to do is take your Hager forceps. And remember you're going to be going through, I mean, you're just going to try to get that through the interproximal space here. So in this case, I've drilled some holes. So what I'm going to do is the patient's laying, well, not like that, he's going to be laying, he's going to be like this. So as you can get your assistant or a resident friend, as you push the free ends through below the uh, contact, the other person can pull them with, with their own set of uh, forceps. And then you're going to bring one end Capture it there. Bring it back through. There we go. So the one person can do that. And it's way easier to do on here, obviously. One of the key things with this 24 gauge wire is that if it's kinked, it won't go through. And this is easier because there's holes that I just drilled. Okay, so you're going to get it approximately like this. And one of the things I learned today was you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to connect these these two free ends. One of the things I was fiddling around with was either send it through here, which I was taught, or create a little uh, little hole right there and then send the distal wire through. There and I'll show you why in a sec. So we capture it there. Grab the other person. Other person will use their Hagar's to capture it and pull it through. Oh, close the camera. Okay, go in here and pull through. Let's see how it. It's, there we go. It's kinked. It's tough. So there's that. And now you can see it's through the back there. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to tie these little pigtails. That's the word I've been looking for. So the key here is to start tying a little bit out, away from, and pull. So I'm going to take all of this in my hand, place the opposite pressure against the, the mandible and the maxilla, and start turning it and pull the wire. So you're stretching it and tightening it. So you're not relying on the twisting motion to tighten the wire because it'll spin out and break. And you'll see in the video of the live patient, it broke a whole bunch of them. Because the patient was having probably he was maxed out in his local anesthesia, so it was tough to get him numbed up by the end of uh, our appointment. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is cut this off and take a Woodson, in this case a Woodson with a couple grooves in it called a uh, pickle fork to make a rosette. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these, use whatever you can and then just push that either under a wire or in the interproximal area and there you have it. So now you've got <clears throat> this little ivy loop where you can now I'm going to next thing is to place an ivy loop down here and then we're going to fixate them together alright thanks for joining me, cheers Ashley